Good afternoon again. This is Roy with Impress Computers. Some time ago, we did a demonstration of one of the latest USB laptop docks and using it to uh, create a multi-monitor display. Well, since that time, we got a little feedback that I spent too much time pointing out the features and not enough time doing the setup. So this morning or this afternoon, we're going to do uh, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to concentrate on the components, the connections, and the configuration. The three C's. Thanks, and let's get started. Okay, first of all, let's look at the laptop. Now, this is the latest generation of Lenovo ThinkPad. It's a modern design. It's thin, it's light, and it's very powerful. This is an i7, has 16 gigs of RAM, and a 512 uh, SSD NVMe. Let's go ahead and start that up. Uh, it has the normal, uh, uh, normal um, ports. Uh, it powers through USB-C. Um, it also has USB 3s. There's an HDMI output, which we're not going to use. Network, more USBs. So pretty standard setup. All right. So that's started. I'm going to close this and talk about the dock. Now this, by the way, I should say uh, at this point, uh, USB docking stations are very universal these days. In the old days, the docks were hard docks. There was a port on the, uh, on the underside of the laptop and it would plug directly into the dock. Well, that was a little fragile, so we've gotten away from those. Everything now is USB-C or USB-3. Now, this is a very good dock. It's made by Lenovo. You should be able to find it for around $200, maybe a little bit north. And this is what it looks like. This is the business side. The most important uh, ports, number one, power. This one right here. All right, number two, this is the USB connector that goes to the laptop. That's how it transmit, charges the laptop and transmits data. These are three video ports, two display ports, and one HDMI. You've got four USB 3s and a network Ethernet uh, gigabit connector. On the other side, there's another USB-C. However, this is, this is strictly input, uh, not output, and another USB 3. This is an audio jack. Over here, those are two locking ports, so nobody walks away with it. All right, so with that, I've got three Dell monitors. Now, it so happens that these identical monitors only have VGA and HDMI. And as I noted, as I mentioned, this has two display ports and an HDMI. So one of them is going to be fine. However, the others are going to require an adapter. And this is a great little device. It, display port here, which will go into the dock, and then you have a choice of one of these, VGA, HDMI, or DVI. And we're gonna be using those with this. All right, so those are our components. Next step, the setup. Okay, all right, first step, let's power up the dock. It comes with an AC adapter, and that plugs right into here. And of course, you should see a light here. All right, second step, and let's get back to our laptop. Second step, USB-C connector from the dock to the USB-C on the laptop. Now, this laptop has two USB-Cs, but only one is a charging USB port. Make sure you plug it into that one. Um, if you do that, then the, the docking station not only increases your displays, but it will also charge the laptop and run the laptop. All right, I'm gonna close this temporarily. Now let's go for the video connectors, all right? Here's one I already have, which is the HDMI. We have one HDMI port. We're gonna plug that in right there. All right. We have two display ports. 
One's already plugged in. And that one was right there. And this one here. And again, the HDMI. Now, if you'll notice what magically just happened is we now have three displays. If I open this, I've got four displays. Now, I've already preset this uh, up. However, I'm going to show you how to manipulate what you see on which monitor. Now, ordinarily, if you have a setup like this, you would like the cursor to go across like here. And if you wanted to get to use the laptop screen, you don't have to, then you would want to drop it straight down off the bottom here and have it um, appear on here. So what I'm going to do is right here, right click on an empty area of the uh, desktop and go to display settings. Under display settings, you're going to see rearrange your displays. Now this is the total page. Now, first of all, we got to, what is what? So let's do identify, okay? So if we identify, you're gonna see these numbers come up and all of these. Now, don't you don't have to switch these around to make, to agree with that. What you, all you really have to do, if this is number one here, drag this down, okay? All right, let's identify again. Number four, okay, I want number three to be over here. So I'm just gonna drag it over. By the way, that has changed. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, re uh, redo the resolution on that one. Again, four is there. So I can apply those changes and now if you'll see, I can move the cursor from here off this screen, follows all the way over, back and down, and there it is on my uh, laptop screen. Now, you don't really have to do that. If uh, You don't have to have the screen if you don't want to. If I close it, then it goes to a three screen system. And you say, well, now, how do I manipulate the mouse? Well, it just happens that I have this standing by an external mouse and keyboard. All right, so now we're playing with a three monitor system. I'm going to go back to display settings. I'm going to identify one more time, make sure we're okay. See, it's changed a little bit, but once you have these, um, uh, set you shouldn't have to do this very often and I'm going to make this one scroll down Make this my main display. That means all your icons then Are going to be on the middle screen cursor 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 and There's a lot of flexibility in this if you want this to be your main screen you can do that just remember the key screen uh, is right click on the desktop, display settings, and there you go. Now, there we go. Okay, so now we have maximum display on all three. By the way, on any of these monitors during configuration, you can select the monitor and then choose different resolutions on the screen if you want to. Uh, you can also change the main display screen. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, please send us an email or uh, reply to this post and we'll do what we can. I hope this has helped.